Hi guys. In this, we are going to learn how to make a dummy API as well as we are going to talk about how to call the API and render the data for both listing as well as detail page. So let's begin. So first of all, we'll talk about API build dummy API in JSON server consume API with react. Basically what happened in real time you'll get an API from a backend team with a proper API But as we are using a react we are don't have any knowledge of backend We need to make a dummy API and for the dummy API We need to install one package as a global package called JSON hyphen server So I'll just stop the application and install a global package npm i minus g JSON hyphen server. This is the one that helped to make our dummy API for us Let's see if it's not asking for any pseudo permission there. Then it's completely fine. If asking pseudo permission, I think it's installed. Now, what is API? Application programming interface are the code that govern to access point of application to communicate with other application in an agreed way. It's a software interface that allow two application to interact with each other without any user intervention. A REST representational state transform is an API that allows you to access or manipulate the resources using set of predefined operation through HTTP protocol method of the most application as required are based on user It's a universal protocol called HTTP and return the data in JSON format the most of a programming language can read basically the most use your API these days are REST APIs in this course, we are going to learn the GraphQL API also, but mostly people focus on the REST API that we are also going to focus. And the other part is the return type of that is always JSON. Ideally, we do a four operation over that create, read, update, delete. Create is something like you want to insert a new record, you do the create. When you want to get the record, you will use a read. And when you want to update the record, you will have a command called update. And delete is delete. So ultimately we have four different way to call it now how to get a one API while building a front-end web application If you want to connect to backend and consume the data using API you need a server We have to make using a JSON server JSON server is a node module that help to set up a rest API and provide dynamic access to the remote data Now let me show you how exactly you can build one rest API using your JSON server so we install one package called our package by the name of JSON iPhone server when you want to run the application of a JSON iPhone server now what you will do is you need to actually run one command here that command is to much my right folder say JSON hyphen server we need two API we need two URL JSON hyphen server minus minus watch your file name will say first of all artist dot JSON hyphen hyphen port 8900 so now what happened on port number 8900 like this see your api will be created that you can start consuming let me show you this is a way in a very simple step we can generate one dummy api and that we can use this api have id name cover bio and then our album is again one array and similarly we have the rest of the artist and how we get the data basically guys when i'm gonna push this code you will get a data one is the artist.json and one is the product.json so you can go with any data that you want to play so we can show that artist also and product also and going forward uh, what we can do is we'll show the listing detail of product and you guys can work on the detail of the artist as assignment similarly we started one your api now i want one more api for the purpose of our product data and one API basically for the purpose of your running the application. So we're gonna two git bash. First git bash is again JSON hyphen server minus minus watch. Just make sure which one have which data. So basically we figure out product have the product data. This should be named as a product because it's gonna be confusing then. And this is the artist. Artist is artist and the product is product. So I'll go back and say watch product.json hyphen hyphen port it should be different port i'll say 8910 port number or 01 port number like that now it make a second api for the product dummy apis so two dummy api one for the artist and one for the product like that see products and your 
artist so this is how we generate a dummy api now how to start consuming that for consuming your api you need to have a life cycle hook and if you remember from previous session i told that a life cycle hook that help to call the api is component dead mount so what we're going to do is i'm going to show multiple way to call the api first of all we'll go to our artist page on that artist page first of all give the url we'll say const url will be that particularly our url i can pick the artist and you can pick the product it's up to you means you can you have to ultimately even make application try that you do both the things as an example i'm saying that i'll do for one you can do for the next one now to call the api will call a component dead mount and a component dead mount will make a call to the api how exactly so from here guys we'll use a fetch fetch is something which is natively a part of javascript we don't have to do anything for that and the method for that will be get like this and the method should come idly in the curly braces like this because that's another second parameter we're sending now we had a promise here why a promise because when you call the api who will tell you that you got the data we write dot then in that we get a response arrow will format that into the json and after that we'll set in the state so we should define one constructor here in this constructor we can receive the props or not it's up to the application and the super also receive the props after that we can declare this we'll say this dot state equal to this dot we'll say artists colon initially we can keep it as a blank and now when we call the api here we'll say dot then in this dot then we'll write we'll get suppose post any keyword i can use arrow curly braces this dot set state of what of your artist to post like that now got the data idly in real time what we do is once we receive the data will not directly going to display the things here only we'll make a separate functional component will which will do the listing part for us so let's play with that so we'll make one listing component here i'll say artist listing dot js that will be a functional component which take the state and render it now in the listing component particularly we'll import react from react and now each item that we have have to go for a detail page also link because we want to link them to detail page that is coming from react router tom like this now we'll say const artist listing it will receive the props from the parent component we already seen that how does a prop arrow now it's going to return in the return it make one div inside that div i'll write one we'll say render list one method in which we'll pass the prop and that help to display and at the end we'll say export default artist listing now this artist listing we pass to the artist and we simply import here artist listing from dot slash artist listing now this artist listing will pass a data how under this artist we'll call this artist listing and we'll say data list equal to curly braces this dot state dot artist like this so basically with the help of that we call the api and we are passing that to the next component now in the listing component we have one function we created the render list so we write a render list here we'll say const render list equal to bracket now whatever prop name you have used my prop name is data list so i'll take it and put the prop name here now after that we have to check did we got the data or not because if data is not there we should put the loading icon also there if data is not there how we can do that i'll show you we'll say data list in this we're going to play the logic and we're going to return and is a map operator to iterate over that we'll say dot map map will get the item item will be arrow and then the curly braces and from there we'll return in this return we'll give the link to now we'll define the route here we'll say backtick slash artist 
and artist ID will say dollar item dot ID. This will give me the so basically we iterating over my array using a map operator and the link will be dynamic when somebody click on the particular artist. It will try to go to detail of that artist when we render anything. No, we should give the key because we will tell that react what exactly we are rendering. So here I'll say item dot ID whatever the unique value. You no, know, just pass it as a key so that react. No, okay. This is something which is iterating like this now in between link tag. We can show other things so that it should start looking good. So you can say div class name. I'll say card. Ideally, I need some part of a CSS for that. I have a CSS I'll pick from there. I'll say call hyphen MD hyphen two and we'll make a div whose class is row. In that row, I'll use a IMG. Although for the artist image, no, in the public folder, we have to keep our images because in the artist data, how the data is, we'll have one look over the data. For the artist data that we have here. We don't have the image URL idly. They have the name of that image. So we'll pick that image and we'll put in this particular one of our public folder and we'll refer that to that images there. So let me do that part. Let's get that image in the public folder. So basically, we have this image whose class is uh, I have created one image tag and uh, I'm taking the name of that artist. For that case, I in the public folder, I kept one folder image that have the images. And on the other side, we have our CSS also in our CSS file, which help us to make this better. So let's see how exactly it look now. See guys, we got the all the data from that API, and when we click on that, it's going to the artist one. So on that particular page, we can have the artist detail page and load the detail of artist. So let's see one more thing. How exactly? We can get that artist detail. So for that case, what we'll do is we'll again go back to our application and let's just rename this movie detail to artist detail page. So we are making artist detail. We'll say here artist detail and in the routing also let's manage the detail for the artist. Plus we'll just put it below. We'll use exact with that and this will be artist detail that is also coming from artist details similarly we'll put put it here now in the artist detail page we are going to receive that id anyways and this id if i pass on my next api call so let's go there we're getting that change the name to artist detail and the same id that i'm getting i can pass to my next api and there I can get the detail of that item. So how to make a call the other way that we can make a call using Axios also. So Axios is another package. So first of all, you have to install that package. I'll write control C NPM I Axios. I have multiple way to call that. So designing part will not cover. We'll just see how exactly we can call it. I'll say import Axios. I'll show the data we'll receive and then later on you can show the data. In whatever way you want from Axios. Now to make a call to the API, anyways, we have to go with a component dead mount. In that component dead mount, we get the this time we get the ID of that particular artist. So we'll say Axios dot get. First of all, with a URL that we have to call. So we'll go to our artist page where we have the URL. So that URL we need because now we'll say slash one. So what it do it will only give me the detail data for that particular ID. So in the access dot get will make a dynamically URL dollar URL slash dollar this dot props dot match dot params dot ID and we'll say dot then in that dot then we can get a response arrow response dot JSON. Idly, you don't have to set a JSON this time. We can directly set in a state. Although state is not yet declared, so we can simply say this dot set state of details colon response dot data. So here we can have one this dot state dot 
and set details now what this will do this will help me to load the data for that particular artist here and then from state we can display or other ways if you want to use a async await then in that case a syntax will be like this let me show that syntax also so for that the syntax will be there's a esx syntax of promises async and we'll say const any way you can go with you can go with a fetch you can go with the async await or you can go with the you call await here and then in this case you don't need the dot then operator because the await is more like dot then only so we'll set this dot and we'll say a response dot data so this is how exactly you can call it by async await all the way we'll set the data for the detail page so i recommend that you guys should use it and load the detail for the other part so promises are used to handle the async operation javascript and provide better error handling promises constructor take only one argument callback function two arguments that callback function must take is resolve or reject if the operator perform inside the callback function as desired then this will call resolve if the operation perform inside callback does not get desired then this will be rejected we already use a fetch method there and we make our artist page so at the end we are able to call the rest api and that's how one complete react application can be developed which have a forms now you can think an example of a shopping cart you can choose a listing page on click of that you can choose a detail page you have one form where you can place the order and submit the data so guys this is how end to end development of one react application can be done thanks a lot